Hello my beautiful lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to show you guys how to play The Sims 1 in full screen. No more little square boxes of the old style or the old way the computers used to look. We're going to play in full screen. So if you want to learn how to do that then just keep on watching. So one thing that I wanted to mention just before we get into the video is that sometimes you can get this little glitch here. If you zoom out too far, you will get like the picture of like the lot. So what you want to do is just scroll on in and I mean, there you go. Problem solved. It's not there anymore. And when you're playing in full screen, you won't really need to zoom out all the way because the lots themselves are pretty small anyways. So. Um, as long as you don't scroll all, scroll all the way out, you won't see that little glitch. When you do start up new lots though, so if you travel to a different lot, it will always load up like that. It's just a little glitch. Nothing has ever happened to my game. It's perfectly safe. So I just wanted to mention that just in case anyone sees that and freaks out. <laughs> the other quick little thing that I wanted to mention is that your neighborhood screen will still be in a um, square windowed screen. Like I said, you barely spend any time in here anyways, and you can perfectly still see and read everything that's on screen. Okay, so one last, last thing that I want to mention before we jump into this video is this only works if you don't use a disc. So if you use a physical disc, you'll need to download a crack. Um, if you go into my Sims 1, how to um, download and install it in Windows 10, um, the link will be in the description box down below to that video as well. There will be a crack in that actual file as well. So you can use that and replace it with The Sims. You, it's all in that video anyway. So go have a look at that if you are confused on what to do. If you don't have The Sims crack um, on there, then you won't be able to do this next step. But if you do, then just keep on watching. Okay. So we're actually going to get into the meat and bones of this actual thing. So in the description box down below, go to the first link um, for the instructions on how to edit the hex code. So what we're going to do is download a hex editor. If you don't have one, there is a description box down below. It is your best friend. Go download that one that I have left in there for you. So next thing you want to do is follow these instructions pretty much to the absolute T. We are manipulating hex code so it does get a little bit dicey if you don't do it properly. So do exactly as I do. Go onto the application you just downloaded, the hex editor, click on file and then open. And this is already opened up into the file where I actually needed it, the crack. So wherever you installed your game to, go into that. If you normally, if you're not sure where it would be, check the description box down below. Once again, I have a quick little um, string of text that you can use to help find where you've installed your game. So this is the crack for The Sims and it sounds really weird when I say it like that but this is basically how I play The Sims without a physical CD and you like I said in the start you will need this before you can go on to the next step so click on The Sims and click open and it will open up like this don't be intimidated the next step is super super easy all you have to do is copy this string of text and make sure you copy all of it then go over to your hex editor, go search, find, and then make sure you're not in text strings, you're in hex values, and then paste the code. So basically it'll bring you to this little section and I don't understand it, so don't ask me what it means. <laughs> All you wanna do now is jump over onto the website again, and then it's going to give you a series of numbers. So what we're going to do is change the 2003 to 8007. So what you want to do here is just paste it or you can type it. It's up to you. And then the next step we're going to do is the 5802 to 3804. So over here, we want to go 3804. And then don't forget to save it. I've already done mine, so I'm not going to save this file. 
and you're pretty much done. So the next thing you want to do is jump over into the next link in the description box that I left down below and you will come up to this um, whole post on Reddit as well. So what you want to do is click on the last link in that post. So don't go to any other link down here. Just make sure you go to this one here. What you want to do is download it and then you're going to want to extract it. So basically this is the whole file. So what the instructions actually tell you to do is basically go into where you installed the Sims and merge the UI graphics folder with this one. So what you want to do is jump over into where you've installed the Sims. So this is the folder. Once again, it, I will leave a link in the description box down below as to where you can find this folder. You don't want to really like do anything here. You just want to click into the UI graphics folder. And I've already done mine, but I'm going to show you what I did. Just basically go copy. And then in here, go paste. Some of the files are new, so you will have to replace them as well. One quick tip that I always do is to make sure you back up these graphics just in case something is corrupted in a folder and you won't be able to boot up your game properly. So this step is crucial, otherwise your UI will be weird. So basically what I mean by the UI is this is the UI. So the user interface. So how you control your Sims, this bar will be different. It'll be in a weird spot and it won't work correctly. So to make sure that that works, make sure you merge those files together. All right guys, well that's basically it. You're all ready to go. You're all set. Like I said in the start of the video, a few things will be a little bit different, but when you actually playing the game, it doesn't actually make all that much of a difference. The fact that some things are still in a square format, there's just nothing we can really do about that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I would love if you would subscribe and hit that little like button down below. If you run into any little troubles, then make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll see what I can do about it. I'm not a coder. I'm not a um, game developer or anything. So I don't know how I would help, but at least I can try to find a solution if you do. Um, also, if you do have some troubles, there it is in a Reddit page, so scroll down and maybe you might be able to find the answer to your question. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!